Let's open this door for now. While we're here. This is gonna bug the hell out of me later on. Those, my friends, are the gem cups. In which you have to uh, race on uh, four different tracks. And score as much points as you can by uh, coming in or well, finishing the race in a decent position. And the player with the most points at the end of all four races wins the gem. <coughs> so, I think we'll get all the tokens and relics from this hub and then we'll stop for the day. See how we do. And I've recorded half an hour so far. So it looks like uh, half an hour for every single challenge in uh, every single hub. <coughs> I don't see any letters behind me, but I do see a letter right in front of me. Oh, I also see stars and a pile of concrete. I've been blinded by concrete. Is it just me or is there a whipped cream in the background? It's the flower bed, you prat. God damn you, engine. God damn you, engine again. Have a bomb. Or don't. Never mind. I see R. R. I see the letter R. Probably be better off saying that in uh, Crash Cove instead. Right. I'm not shooting this until I get juiced up. CTR Ventus will know what this does when you're juiced up. This. And if you're a noob or a newbie. Basically, the non juiced up version of that electric orb, or warp orb, only goes for the player who's in first place. But, when it's juiced up, it hits everyone who's in front of you. And you're probably asking what happens if you fire it when you're in first place. Well, it just travels straight ahead until it hits something, and then it disappears. I think I saw a video on YouTube of uh, these guys doing um, a, a four-player versus race in uh, Blizzard Bluff. And um, the guy was just about to win the race and then someone fired a warp orb at him. And it hit him when he was like millimetres from the finish line. And he just won. That's what I call seconds from disaster. Oh yeah, it is a disaster if you lose a race. Hopefully we'll get the Platinum Relic on this uh, track. Anyway. Like I said, I always thought you'd get some kind of reward for uh, getting all the Platinums in Adventure Mode, but no. Just for bragging rights. When I, I thought getting all the Platinum Relics was how to unlock Pen a Penguin without cheating. But nope. The only way to unlock Pen a Penguin is by cheating. And him and Oxide are the only characters that you can unlock without cheating. I mean, by cheating, sorry. <coughs> Although you can't um, officially unlock Oxide in this game. You need a game shark for that shiz. Oh, bloody hell, that's going to make it harder. That's what happens when you're a bit careless. A bit careless. It's very careless. Oh, walk it off. Just walk it off. Oh, that's bollocks. I hate those two. And we got them. Who cares? Not me. Okay, there's no boxes off to the left or right. But I saw one at the corner of my eye on the left there. I did. I know I did. <coughs> oh, great. I really don't like those ones. Can you tell? Oh, I can't believe I missed one of them on the first lap. I don't think I'm going to get my 10 second bonus at the end. Let alone a platinum relic. That should be the other way around. I'm not going to get a platinum relic, let alone a 10... Oh, I'm definitely not going to get it now. You've got to concentrate. Come on. 
from what I remember, I think uh, it was quite a pain in the ass to get the platinum on this one. Now you're just saying that because you're not doing so well. <laughs> you mad, bro? Yes, I am. Tell you what, no, don't bother, don't bother. What is with these fucking walls? And the grass. Oh, I've got a fucking itchy nose. Fuck. Oh, bugger you then. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought that's all I was going to get. Anyway, we'll see you in the next track, which will most likely be uh, Tiger Temple. Now for all the stuff in the uh, Paris track. Tell you what, let's do Dingo Canyon since it's right here. Canyon, not canyon. That's what happens when you speak too fast. Slow down. You don't have a bus to catch. Now, like I said, I think uh, the CTR challenge that gave me the most grief was the Hot Air Skyway one. Because one of the letters is quite hard to get. Rev up those engines. I see you. By the way, I heard this uh, really scary... R Bloody hell! Now you believe bandicoots can fly. Well, that is how you squash somebody with uh, that turbo boost powered up. The bottle of juice. Mm. Oh, bollocks. I forgot what I was going to say now. He'll come back to me. Oh, you'll have to get that. Of course he will. Eat missile. Blah, fuck's sake. Eat TNT crate, Mr. Missile. That's better. How about a nitro, tiny tiger? How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up? Go away, fish, or what? Fuck's sake! Go away, bomb. Yeah, me fucking owl to you two. Aw, oh, raining on your parade again, Polar. Not enough snow. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to get it on the next lap. Or a restart will be in order. And also, I realise I need to finish this race in first place. So get your finger out and let's go! Come on! Oh gosh. Maybe I should have saved that for the... for the letter. Come on, I need to get juiced up now. Gotta be faster. Come on! Oh, how the hell did he not hit that? Because he dodged it. Right, get it. Yes. <sighs> that was precarious. Closest CTR challenge so far. The biggest nail biter. And now for the relic. Ah, oh, what was I talking about? I've gone and completely forgotten. I was trying to say something before I ended up squashing Coco. I went flying into the air. I went flying into the air higher than your mother-in-law when she sits in a pin. Your mother-in-law jokes are fucking terrible. Bothered. I don't think it's going to come back to me. I've completely forgotten. Yeah, engine labs. It's, uh... Pardon me. Engine labs contain the hardest platinum relic for me. And yes, that's the one that um, has a shitload, and I mean a shitload, of uh, time crates behind the finish line. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, more time crates there than your mother-in-law can shake her fat ass at. you. See, if only I'd done that with the letter R in that CTR challenge. Never mind, 
he got it in the end. What's done is done. Give me that. Without hitting anything. If possible. If at all possible. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Okay. No worries. You better get that one that's off to the left as well. You bloody well better. Now then. Okay, you'll have to go off to the right. I mean left, sorry. God, why do I always get my left and right mixed up? Right. Eight crates. No, nine crates to go. No, sorry. I'm shit at maths, I'm sorry. You give me a sum, I'll be able to spell it. I won't be able to work it out though. What do constipated mathematicians do? They work it out with a pencil. What do, const what do very constipated mathematicians do? They work it out with a ruler. Well, I don't think I'm going to get the fuck's sake. I'm not going to get the platinum relic on this one. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, Stuart. Yeah. Mm. Grump, grump, grump. Sulk, sulk, sulk. Come on, can we get at least one platinum relic in this hub? Well, I don't think I'm going to get the one for Papu's Pyramid, because that was a fucking pain in the ass. A pain in Papu Papu's ass. Yeah, I wish. That's what he gets for making his track so fucking hard. Well, making his relic race so fucking hard, any anyway. I don't know if we'll do... Yeah, we will do. We will do! Your mother-in-law. Yuck. Yeah, we will do Papu's Pyramid first. Simply because it's closest to the uh, trophy podium. Or whatever it's called. The winner's circle. That's it. Anyway. Oh no. This is the one that has the letter C. Or one of the letters anyway. And that uh, shortcut. Where you have to uh, jump and land on that little uh, roof. No, you should have saved that for the temple roof thing. I got confused by that letter. I thought you could get it by just, uh, you know, jumping up that first ramp, but no. You get it by going on that little uh, ramp that's off to the fuck's sake. Yeah, I'll see. Thanks, engine. Don't drop salt in the wound, please. Right. That just takes the Michael. And to top it off, I don't even get juiced up. Oh! Well, that marks the first time in this playthrough that I've gone through one lap and not collected a single bloody letter. I'll take my anger out on a certain tiger and polar bear. It ain't funny. I know, I'm a bastard. Don't care. I'll do anything to get the CER challenge in this. Well. Now then, hopefully I'll get it this time. Right. Jump! Perfect. Right, you have to get that letter on the next lap. You have to. Right, slowly. This letter is easy. Now you better get that T. I don't want the T. I'm not a huge fan of T anyway. If I do have to drink tea, I always have it with milk and sugar. I don't really like hot drinks anyway. Not even coffee. I just prefer to drink, uh, well, cold drinks like water and juice. But not alcohol. I'm a teetotaler, I'm sorry. Right, ah, perfect. Now jump this time. There you go. Now then, can we take the shortcut without falling off? Can you say epic? Now for the annoying relic race. And yes, this is the one that contains that uh, stack of crates that you have to uh, jump off the track to get. Yeah, it's at the top of the spiralling track. You know, the really narrow spiralling track. Yeah, I'm sure you know which bit I'm talking about. You'll know it when you see it, I'm sure. You've seen it many times. 
I'm sure all CTR veterans have seen it many times as well. And yes, there is indeed a time crate on that tempo shortcut. And the high wall shortcut as well. But I think the most most annoying one of all is uh, the fact that they placed uh, crates on the grass behind the carnivorous plant things. Well, that was perfect. Okay, keep going. Go. See how many we can get. Oh, they placed them in front of the fucking plants as well. A oh, fuck! Yeah, you spit me out. I don't taste good, do I? I clearly don't taste very good if you spat me out. Wheels too rubbery for you. Oh, oh, don't you dare eat me. And you, right. <clears throat> right. I think the only way to get the uh, platinum in this one is if you don't fall off or, yeah, or get eaten to death. Or something like that. The clock's still frozen like hell. I think I better thaw it out. No, don't thaw it out. I'm doing great. Apart from having fallen off and gotten eaten. Om nom nom. Right. Ah, perfect. Oh no. This is not going to be very pretty. Oh! Right. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go for the gold. On the wall. Right, slow down. Now, final lap. I don't think I'm going to get platinum on this at all. Judging by the amount of times I've fallen off, and judging by the uh, position of some of the crates, I don't think I'm going to get them all. No 10 second bonus for me. No platinum for me. Either. Right, fuck that crate. I'd rather not, actually. Yeah, fuck that crate too. Fuck you, plant. Dinner is cancelled. Right, what do we get? Enlighten me. Well, screw you then, if that's the way you want it. I had a funny feeling that all I was going to get was shitty sapphire. Oh well. <clears throat> we'll see you in the next track. And that track will... Oh, did you see all those Stuarts there? <laughs> I did. Shows how many times I've attempted to get the Platinum Relic on this track. Anyway, see you in the next track, which is, this time, Tiger Temple. I like the fact that um, the uh, that temple door in Tiger Temple is um, always open for the Relic Race. Which makes sense, since there's no uh, weapons in Relic Races. The only way to get weapons and power-ups in Relic Races is by cheating. You know, get a cheat to uh, use the infinite masks and infinite bowling bombs. And it's also possible to get infinite missiles. That, my friends, is by... ...having the uh, infinite bowling bombs cheat on, right? And then by crashing into a red potion to cause your uh, weapons and power-ups to get uh, scrambled and then randomised. And if your weapon stops on three missiles, you will get infinite missiles. I don't know if that's a glitch or intentional. It could very well be a glitch. I'm just wondering if that's how the bowling bombs and missiles are programmed. I don't know. Ask Naughty Dog. Now, I must have missed a letter. If I didn't get the R. I need to find it. Obviously. 
Can I get juiced up, please? Yes, I can. Now then. Now, where's that? Oh, oh yeah, I know where that iron is. No, I can't use nitros to get through the temple. Wish I could, though. Hopefully I'll get it off this jump. Oh, so bloody close. No, give me a potion, for God's sake. Please give me a potion so I can throw it at the temple's mouth. Or a bomb, that'll work fine. Because when you're in first place, you're programmed to not receive um, missiles and shields and stuff. Or clocks. All you get is uh, crates, potions, bombs and power shields. Ah, oh, for goodness sake! I'm going to have to restart this race, I think. Because if I don't manage to get this letter now, I'm fucked. Oh, bollocks. Oh, that's just bloody typical. Right, start again. That is just bloody typical. That really does take the bandicoot. Let's try that again. Another clock, look at that. I said clock. Right. No, let them pass you. So you can get an offensive weapon. That'll do. That will do. Pig. Right. I was about to say, I hope I collect it after all that. But yep, I did. As you saw. If you didn't see it, then what the fuck were you doing? Too busy fapping. What sort of fap over in this game? I'll leave that to your imaginations. Anyway, I'm going to save this potion for getting through the temple door again. If you don't mind. That temple door needs a dental plant. Here's some red toothpaste that might help him. Oh, fuck's sake. Talk about carelessness. And that's one way to make a deep fried bandicoot. You've heard of deep fried Mars bars, now you've got deep fried bandicoots. Now, although I live in Scotland, I have never tried a deep fried Mars bar before. I don't think I want to. I mean, I'm like unable to gain any weight at all. Give me like the world's supply of chocolate bars, I just will not put on a single ounce. But I have a feeling that if I ate deep fried Mars bars, that would all change. Anyway, enough talk about deep fried Mars bars. Let's start talking about the game. Next up is the Relic Race, the last Relic Race in this hub, and then the Crystal Challenge in Rampage Ruins. Oh! Of course, uh, it's not possible to take shortcuts in the uh, time trials either. Well, in this one anyway. Because uh, the door's not open. At least I don't think it is. No, it's not. So Oxide can't take the shortcut in his uh, time trial run in this track. Yeah, no wonder Oxide's so fast. He's got a shitload of engines in his car. And he always takes fucking shortcuts. Then again, so do I. I can't talk. Yes, I can talk. I've got a tongue and a vocal cord. Okay, now you're just being fucking smart. You mad, bro? Ah, see, I told you. Oh, perfect. You just hate it when you try to go up a jump, but you don't jump high enough. Oh, yeah. 
I'm sure everybody hates that. Yeah, woe indeed. Okay, I've got plenty of time to get it next time, don't worry. I said time twice, just realised. What kind of dog can tell the time? A watchdog. Crash, were you laughing? Or uh, just getting all excited about having gone up a massive jump? Whoa! That wasn't very nice, Mr. Flamethrower. Hey, Mr. Flamethrower, why did you do that? Daylight. Just a minute. I thought my software went a bit funny there. Never mind. Yeah, daylight come and I want to get a platinum relic. I don't think I'm going to do it though. Judging by my performance so far. And the fact that um, I missed a few crates again. So something tells me I'm not going to get a platinum relic at all in this hub. Who cares? As long as you get a relic of some description, I'm happy. As long as I get at least a sapphire. Instead of a wooden spoon, I'm happy. Oh, you almost got me there, didn't you, Mr. Flamethrower? Yeah, stick your flames up your ass. And do a fire for it. Oh, fuck me. Uh, I think I'm just going to get gold in this one. I think that's all I'm going to get. That flamethrower made me very nervous, you know that? I knew that's all I was going to get. Anyway, it is now time for the second crystal challenge in the game. Rampage Ruins. And this, one's, this one's a little harder than the last one. Then again, they're all harder than the previous ones. And this one can, now contains TNT crates. Rocky Road contains uh, nitro crates. But at least you get bowling bombs to make a path. A nitro court in Citadel City contains TNTs and nitros, but again, you get bowling bombs. I noticed that um, if you um, hit a nitro crate or get sent into a tumbling crash anyway and collect a crystal, the last crystal, when you're still doing the tumbling crash animation, you, you can get stuck on your side. Which looks very amusing. And I saw it happen in uh, the the live streaming event done by uh, Pro3 Studios. It was very amusing, but I've seen it before, but it's good to see it again. The thing was, uh, Cody, the guy I was playing, and had never seen it himself, though. So he got a pretty big laugh out of it. Ah! Yay, they brought back that background sound from uh, the, the Lost Ruins. And, uh... Sorry, the Lost City, sorry. And, uh, Sunset Vista from Crash 1. You hear that? Alright, come on, you got to be faster. Come here, you. You pink thing. Or are they purple? You be the judge. Answers in the comments, please. Are they pink or purple? Uh oh. Oh, now where's. Oh, I was about to ask, where's the last one? But that is the last one. Thank you very much. Anyway, I think that wraps up this recording session. So let's go ahead to that load save screen and save our progress before we move... No, I'll tell you what, we'll move on to Glacier Park right now and save there. That's what we'll do. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'll be back for you, Blizzard Bluff and all that jazz. Anyway, that wraps up this recording session. See you in the next part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, where we continue to get the rest of the collectibles in this game. So stay solid, and don't let the CTR tokens bite.